Be famous, go on Big Brother, be famous for, for nothing, you've done nothing. Yeah, that's, I don't know, I think that's a reflection of the way things are. People just want stuff like, you know, they want stuff easy now. You know, everyone wants to be famous, put the picture on Instagram, you don't need to do shit, just be famous. Go on Big Brother, be famous for, for nothing, you've done nothing. Yeah, that's, I don't know, I think that's a reflection of the way things are, perhaps, in, in everything. People are, are just really more concerned with the cosmetic, the look, and, you know, taking their pictures and putting them on Instagram and all this kind of stuff. They're not really into, uh, it's almost a spiritual side of it. You know, where you want to push yourself to that maximum and see how far you can go and how, you know, how far your mind can go into the pain and all that kind of stuff. It really appealed to me, this um, aspect of bodybuilding, where it was really a soul endeavor. I was very much in a tunnel and, you know, my house would have been on fire. If I had to be at a gym at 11, my house was on fire, I'd just call the, you know, the fire service and, and go to the gym. I wouldn't, I would refuse to let outside forces influence me in any way. What you focus on is what you bring to your life. You, know? yeah. you focus on bad things enough, then you know, bad things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of faith in myself. Behold, here cometh the dreamer. Let us slay him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. I didn't really have any support, so I felt like I had to do my own thing. You need some kind of extreme hunger, drive, that makes you strong or uh, make you or break you basically. Whenever you're pushing your body to the limit in, in any sport, I think there's always a, a risk of injury because you're, you're flirting with danger when, you, when you're pushing things to the limit. Um, but you know, that got me from, uh, from being here, uh, a backstreet gym in Birmingham, which is, you know, everyone knows it now, but back in the day it was just a hole in the wall gym. Not many people understood bodybuilding in my town, so to come from this place, to win Mr. Olympia using a unique training philosophy, which I think uh, catapulted me past people with better genetics, and I can't say that, you know, I would absolutely change it. I think if I trained conventional bodybuilding-wise, I would have been a good bodybuilder because I've got good genetics, but I don't think I would be Mr. Olympia. And you can bring things into your reality. Twitter.